world number one coach has revealed the secrets to the golf swing. Now look at these stats right here. Where do you sit? This is the average percentage of greens hit depending on handicap. So one thing I'm gonna to say to you right here, you better get good at chipping. So I'm gonna show you three scenarios. The chip from just short of the green, the chip and run along the green, and the short-sided high one, whether you've gotta do it over a mound or a bunker. And this technique allows you to get so much more confidence and feeling of predictability. So let's just firstly talk about the points of breakdown. When you're chipping, you've got a few points of breakdown we need to eradicate really. One would be lower half moving and swaying because that changes where we would contact the ground. I mean, if I hold this club straight in my left arm and I move my knees, you can see how much my golf club moves, okay? Other areas we've got is left arm bending. Again, that's sort of lifting our club too much away from the bottom of the circle. And the final one would be sort of too much of this flickiness, okay? Too much of this. Now, if we look at this and go, right, okay, well, if I could be a little bit more of a consistent chipper, that would be keeping my left arm a little bit straighter all around the arc like this, right? All around the arc. That's gonna help me contact that ground more in the same space every single time, right? That's gonna be predictable. It bends, knees move, or I flick, do any one of them or all three of them, it becomes very unpredictable. Now, what I like with this is, I've seen this number one golf coach teach this method. Matt Fitzpatrick uses this method. So let's show you on this one first. So what I want you to do here is, we're gonna get our left hand low, okay? Now, what I really love about this is, if you go move to face on it, I'll make some practice swings. Look how it encourages my left arm to stay straight. Look at that from here. That is absolutely the way, or one of the ways, we can keep it all consistent. Look at that strike. That was absolutely perfect in strike. So the first thing is that, that the idea of, I love the idea of that left arm staying straight, okay? Now, the reason why I think a lot of golfers go seriously wrong when they're chipping is that we like to throw the right hand at the chip, don't we? We like to get this way. Now, when you sort of got a hand on it here, we sort of can throw it into the ground. We can throw it into the ground like this. We can also throw it past it, a little bit like sort of a cricket shot. Those two elements are gonna really cause you thins or fats, okay? So the second element to this is what I really love is it presets this fold in your right arm. It's almost like it locks it in. And because your right hand's higher up the club, you can get that feeling of it locked in. So all I do is I sort of lock it in there and then I rotate, keeping all connected. So I'm gonna hit this chip and run. I've showed you the first shot. I hit a couple here. So the second point, while well, real this chip, this is honestly gonna change it for you. Look at this. All the way down to that flag. Oh, you need a little more on that one. That's a great strike, just a little bit under hit. Let's hit another one. So it's locked in, back, through. Absolutely perfect, that, that could even go in. Go on then. Whoa. But what I want you to get here is the crispness and the noise of that strike. Look at here, just come and look at that there. It sets it in, because your right hand's higher compared to there, you get it in and you can keep that moving as a unit. Now there's one final point. Have a look at this shot right here. The short-sided one, this could be a bunker. Now we've got a big mound in front of us. These are the high tariff runs. This method even works here. So I mentioned before, didn't I, about throwing this handle. And we often see people chip with this chipping wing. We don't want that. That's gonna, again, a little bit of that driving cricket method. So the, the final benefit to this is, I feel like it really gives you a sense of, when you do chicken wing, you can easily see it. You can easily see this gap much easier than when our left hand's at the top. So the idea I want you to have is that the sort of the arms are in place at a dress and all we're doing is just rotating the upper body around our weight being left. You're keeping your lowest point of your swing fixed. 
Now, a great little hack to do this, because I think this sensation is a little bit hard for people to get to begin with, is just grab your head cover. I'll show you how to take this to the course, so don't worry in just this next shot. You put your head cover under, and you're looking to get that set up, as we said, right arm in there, and just rotate, keeping that head cover in. Look at that. So watch this, look how close we can get this. Just have a few waggles, feel that rotation. Ho oh, ho, did you hear the check on that? Look, I kept it in there. That was a really nice strike. So on the golf course, you obviously can't put your head cover in there. That would be cheating. What you can do is grab a healthy chunk of your shirt, tuck it under your armpit before you put your left hand low, lock it in and just feel you keep that sort of tucked part of your shirt under. Simple as that. Here we go. I mean, you take that first one, but let's see if we can get it a little closer. Look at that shot. <laughs> Sliding it straight under to hit it close. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell and hit the thumbs up button too. Can't wait to hear how good your chipping is.